Hi friends, in this video now we will see about the inline templates. Up to now in the previous videos we have seen about the component so many features. So we have seen how to create a component and uh, we, we have created the component from the now what we can say the template we in from the JS section we have create, created and also we have used the slots in the components right so now we will see about the inline templates so what are these inline templates so for example say we have a one component by name counter okay in this here we will write the counter value is so we will display the value now we will create the component view dot component component name is nothing but the counter and we create an object so we don't we will not declare the template here okay we will write directly data variable okay written and whatever the variable we have used there we will initialize that variable so this is the basic component now here we have we are trying to use this component the variable in from that component now we will try to execute when you try to execute this one if you refresh you are getting an error here so property or method value is not defined so it is saying that the value is not defined here and also what it is saying it is saying that fail to mount component counter so template or render function is not defined so it is trying to say say that I am unable to render this component co counter so as there is no template or template for the for, for that component to render it is saying so for any component if you are creating so you you will be having template things but here so we need to tell to that component that use the whatever the markup HTML you are having in between this one take it as a template okay previously we we have written as a part of the template okay so as a we, we declared here template and we are telling that to take it as a part of the template as slots but here we are saying that to take entire markup what is there here take it as a template okay so so there is no need for us to mention the template here so this this type of scenarios will be very useful when we are handling the server side so that the whole markup should be displayed here in the server side so that if you want to use any server side variables you can use it directly here in this so now in order to do uh, in order to take this one as a template for the component what we can mention is here inline hyphen template okay if you mention inline hyphen template automatically the for this component counter it will be taken as a template now if i try to refresh see the counter value is zero automatically the value uh, the value variable also is used in this template now what i will do is i will create a button here okay so I will do increment and on clicking this uh, button I will do I will increment the value okay so now I what I will do is I will try to refresh and we got an error what is that error you saying inline template components must have exactly one child so whatever the components we are whatever the rules that applied here for the component same thing applies for the inline template also so we need to have a single root node element so we will wrap this all the template thing in div okay so that it should be in a single node so now what we can do is so now we will try to refresh it again yeah we got the button when I try to click on that button it is going on incrementing so then also we got the reactivity and all those things in this inline template also so normally in the Vue.js documentation what they will be telling is inline templates is not that much of suggestible to use why because so if anybody wants to use this component again they need to implement this all the template again okay so if you are so you need to be very thoughtful before using the components so how I have to create the component whether this component is single that should uh, that it is not useful anywhere in the in the website or in the project or anything it is not useful means so it is okay to use like this or otherwise if you are using uh, multiple times in the components it better to use it uh, here in the JS or otherwise you will be future coming uh, videos you will be able to see dot vue files so where you have elegant syntax and all those things in that one so we, you, we, we need to store it in the view templates so these are the inline templates in the component if you like this video 
प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल थैंक यू